Hi there, and welcome to TC Fex. After completion of your research paper, we should ask ourselves one question. How can we select the most suitable journal of publication for our research? Choosing a suitable journal for publication of your research is vitally important, as this can be the deciding factor on whether your published research gets a high level of citations and comments from fellow researchers, whether your H-index will go higher, and other such factors, which will be explained in more detail in the full course offered here. Firstly, go to the top right-hand corner and open the Research Tools box. Once the mind map has been opened, click on option 3 on the right-hand side, which is named Targeting Suitable Journals. As you can see, we have many tools at our disposal, but for this illustration we shall concentrate on a specific one. Before that, you have to know the terminology in selecting a journal. For example, let's say you want to publish your paper in the Annual Review of Medicine. First, view the information relating to this journal on the ISI Web of Science platform. There you will be presented with various statistics, including total citations, impact factor, and five-year impact factor. These terms will be explained fully in the full course offered. Other things to be considered when targeting this journal would be how many references you should put at the end of your research paper. Go down to the bottom of the page of this example, and you can see that the average number of references in each review paper was 71.4. Thus, submitting a paper with only 20 references, for example, would probably result in non-acceptance. This is very important to know, or else you may submit an article which the journal rejects because you didn't follow the criteria set down by it. Other information, for example, acceptance ratio and the time it takes the editor to respond to you is also accessible. All this can be found in great detail in the full course offered about ISI Index. Thanks for listening to our brief synopsis about the use of ISI Index and research tools. We look forward to seeing you again in the near future.